for those of y'all that don't know who we are, because y'all new to this stuff, I'm Reggie Wright, former security, head security of Death Row Records, and the general manager of Death Row Records, and a major, major YouTuber over on Bomb First uh, Podcast. And I'm just Mob James. I mean, James McDonald, a.k.a. Mob James. <laughs> so we, uh, we've we been on a couple of episodes of Vlad or a couple of uh, segments on Vlad TV, and uh, we're great trying to give us a new thing. Vlad just given an opportunity, and we're trying to take advantage of it. Right, so, right. Yeah. So, um, James, what, anything you'd like to address, bro? Well, first of all, I want to address the people that you know, have things to say about Gangster Chronicles. My intake on Gangster Chronicles is basically that, you know, we had a situation, didn't work out. James went his way, they went their way. Uh, had me pissed off a little bit, but then, you know, I had other things to do opposed to being mad at that dude and, and going back into my old self with, uh, being pissed off or you did me wrong bullshit, it just didn't work. So I let it go, you know, and and with my beliefs and how I felt, something better and something new was going to come around. And, and here is. we are at Black. Exactly. You know? Bigger and better. Right. So, you know, people out there said I was bitter about the situation. Not at all. Not at all. I did bomb first. I got heated when... People said certain things, like I got punked. You know what I'm saying? That ticked me off, but no, it didn't. I walked away like a man, ain't tripping. It's been a year, you know? It really ain't uh, stopped nothing. You know what I'm saying? So a year later, here come another opportunity. Right. So, you know, the route I took was the best route. You know, I could have went the other way and probably would have been in jail by now you know, or been police looking for me, you know, accusing me of something. But I stayed firm and said, fuck it, walked away, let it be, and here we are. All right. And that's the last we're going to address to it. We just had to address it, get it out of the way. That's right. To let you guys know, while we over here on Vlad TV, which I think is a upgrade. And so we're going to go and try to do this again. We'd be like Dr. Dre. Uh, Dr. Dre did with Suge Knight. What'd he do? He said, motherfucker, you can have death row. And then he went into aftermath and look at him. Bigger and better things. Bigger and better. First topic that we're going to deal with, James. We got to deal with it first. Come on. I know uh, it's a top hot subject. It's a subject that I don't generally like to do because I'm one of those that like to talk about subjects that I was involved in or subjects that I know about or subjects that I heard about or whatever. But the internet is burning. It's burning again. Something I've been saying for the longest. And we got to address it. James, what you think about what's going on with Puffy Combs? Lord have mercy. <laughs> I, this, this, this is a, uh, a show in itself. Um, I think the dude is ridiculous, but I think everybody that's talking about it and all of these men coming out saying that they was assaulted, I think is that's the saddest part about it. Yeah. You got grown men coming out like the women that came out on Bill Cosby type of shit. What the fuck is you talking about it now? And I'm talking about some of these guys are gangsters. Yeah. These guys are uh, uh, popular out here, and they talking about what puppy did to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not not a day later, not two days later, but years later. 15, 15, well, this 17 particular years producer, later. He's, uh, you know, not too long ago. He's not as far as removed as most. We talking about Lil Rod? Lil Rod, yeah. Okay, Lil Rod didn't say he sexually assaulted him. Well, he said he played with his... Okay, but... His, his butt, I'll just say that word. The way I took and he it woke is up he in was the trying to get his money. Two people, yeah. And it didn't work that way. Um... Like I said, you got a lot of people coming out with this, puppy did this, puppy did that. If you guys didn't speak on this shit when this man touched you then, why are you speaking that's on it point. now? Yeah. Because it's the money. The money. You know. And that's what, unfortunately what happened when you pay all the judgment so quick. Then attorneys are so 
quick to take the case was like, well, shit, if I can just invest three months, four months, and get a, a little a meal ticket or something out of this, Mind then I'll mind. take this case. Where if they thought they would have had to drag it on, set up plenty of depositions and be in court for three or four years, they may move on to something easier. Right. And so, but that dude is ridiculous, though. He's, he's a, obviously a predator. He's a pedophile predator. He's a he's a sick individual. Yeah. But the cold thing about it is, he didn't only touch these cats one time. You got some of these guys said I was forced into. You ain't in the penitentiary. Exactly. You ain't got to be assaulted by a puppy. Don't go to his parties no more. Yeah. So, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't have no sympathy for none of those dudes that's running out here saying, "I didn't have a choice." No, you had a choice. You chose to be rich, and allow him to do what he's doing just to get the money. And once he cut you off, once he cut you off, now you mad. Yeah. Or once old girl got paid, now everybody is saying he did this. I got videos of this. I seen that. Might as well keep it closed. Yeah. It's, it's it's sad that all of these people are coming out. All of these men. That's the fucked up part about well, it. Well, this is the first man that came out with it. No. It was females about it, but I believe the flood It's men open. coming out saying he did it. It's men coming out saying he tried to do it. It's men saying that they seen him with certain other men. Slash Usher, slash poor milk, meat meals. <laughs> uh, uh, um, T.D. Jake. You know, that that's, that hit me because here I am trying to live different. Yeah. And I used to sit here and watch T.D. Jake talk on TV. That was my church. And then to hear him and then see the videos where he's shaking like he's a part of the scene killed me. It you hurt know? you. One thing I want to caution you, my brother, is don't follow the, the man. Just keep following the message when you get into that religion stuff. Right. Oh, because yeah, it, it, it shouldn't change if T.D. Jake's doing teaching that you can comprehend and you learn and it's coming from the Bible or the scripture. Just don't let that uh, be a reason to uh, stop listening and learning and nope. and being educated. Uh, you can say that. T.D. Jake he can't teach me nothing. Okay. If he's out there hanging with, motherfuckers, with people that smoking weed, drinking, partying and doing all that, who's to say he can't have a you just don't want to see another it, life on the outside. Yeah, but you are a certain person, a certain individual that millions of people are looking up to. Right. Don't get caught up in the hype like that. You you are a a a preacher, a man that's preaching the word of God. Don't get out here. You don't belong at a puppy party. That's like you coming to the hood and hanging out with me drinking. Yeah, this ain't what you preaching. Yeah. 